Hey, Butterfly. Hey, Roxy. Are you about ready? Uh, yeah, I'm just finishing up. What's up? Um, I have something I have to take care of later, so I don't want you to be stuck here. I'll take you home. Okay, okay. I just need to gather my stuff, and then we can go. But what do we do with all this? Oh, you know what? Let's just tell the nurses, and they'll take care of it. Can okay. I? Let's see what this is. Mm. Bye, Lola. Mm. Who's that? It must have been a wrong number. Someone named Mrs. Brandle? Oh. I don't know. Oh, Mrs. Brandle. Ready? All right. Bye, Lola. Richard says bye. Bye, Richard. Okay. Bye. Come on, let's go. Bye, Lola. Scrutiny. A searching examination or investigation to be watched or to be guarded. There comes a point when you will be scrutinized. How will your story be told? I got lawyers watching lawyers, bosses watching bosses. Zion. I got lawyers watching lawyers, bosses watching bosses. Let's get it. Money, power, respect. Money, power, respect. Money, power, respect. Money, power, respect. The lifestyle that we live gets so much scrutiny. The lifestyle that we live gets so much scrutiny. Money, power, respect. Money, power, respect. Money, power, respect. Money, power, respect. The lifestyle that we live gets so much scrutiny. The lifestyle that we live gets so much scrutiny. Money, power, respect. I got them screwed now. They watch. My jeweler hooked me up. I got that screw back down to shine. When you the captain of your ship, you never let it sink. Oh no. Earring, massive carrots. They can't fall down the sink. <laughs> me go rim, so my bin sitting all set. All set. We bust up the bank. We used to bust a check. Bust it. Mind over matter, living in the six cents. Giving hell for a title. This right here, my triple six. Triple six. Some scallywag from the club trying to get my number. I need somebody more, more like you. You'll do just fine. Oh, I don't think so. I'm not that type of girl. <laughs> that type of girl? I'm looking for beautiful. Is she here? I'm, and you are. I'm. I'm. I'm Miss Miller, her agent. Roxy. Oh, are you like a, a secret agent? Um, no, no. Um. I've, uh, Roxy, I've heard a lot about you. Have you? I haven't heard anything about you. It's beautiful here. Can someone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Come here. Your secret agent is here. Um, I think she wants to investigate you. No, 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 honey. I, I'm, I'm her manager. Uh, oh no, no. She already has a manager. Mr. Z's her manager. It's the acting, Butterfly. The acting. <gasps> Oh, yes. oh, I'm yes. a star too, you know. I'm a star right here. That, that's wonderful. It is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful. Oh, here she comes. Hey, guys. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I came to talk to you. Alone? I don't think so. How classy. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You guys, it, it's okay. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, I'll be fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay, 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 need help. We're right over there, okay? okay thank she's you. investigating you or something. It, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. No, those are my friends. I, you're wonderful, that's great. Um, See you later, Ms. Manager. Uh, bye. So, what happened to you the other day? <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, I wanted to apologize for stopping by without calling, and I didn't mean to interrupt you with your girlfriend. <laughs> that wasn't my girlfriend. That was my business partner. You know, business? Business partner? Yes. I feel so 
that was a little better. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Well, we discussed this business. You ran up so fast from the restaurant, I didn't get a chance to introduce you to my colleague. She's a producer. And um, she has a lot of great projects that we think you'd be perfect for. I'm so sorry. I feel like such a fool. It's OK. <laughs> it's really OK. So, you know, there's something that I've been really liking, wanting to do. Like what? <laughs> like dinner, movie. I'll pick you up Thursday. OK? Mm -hmm. By the way, you're really cute when you're jealous. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Bye, Eddie. Hello? Father Holly? This is he. This is Priscilla. Who? Your daughter's friend, you know, Jennifer. Oh. What... What can I do you for? It's not what you can do for me. It's what you're going to do for her. Oh, really? And what's that? Well, you can start by meeting me tomorrow, 2 p.m. at the breakfast joint, 64th Street and Bell. You know where it is? Not exactly. Well, I'll send you the exact address because I don't want you to have any excuses for losing your way. I'm here. I have something for you. Who's this for? That's for your daughter. She's going twice a week to a therapist to try to get over what you did to her. And you're footing the bill. OK, I'll take care of it. If I get word that you miss one payment, so help me God, I'll come down on you and your little church with everything I've got. I can only imagine what they would do to someone like you in jail. Someone that raped and mind fucked their nine-year-old daughter for three Good years. Good morning, how are well. we? Sorry. It's okay. Would you like some coffee? Cafe latte? Yeah, Cafe some water, please. Water? Yeah. Okay. Just a menu for me. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't have to keep reminding me what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Well, somebody needs to do something about it. You don't have to threaten me. It's not a threat. It's a promise. Are we clear? Yes. Crystal. You can start by paying the first month today. And you better not miss one payment. I won't. It'll be done. I'll take care of it. Can you please do me a favor? Can you please tell my daughter that I'm sorry? Please. Are you really? I will take care of this. I am truly sorry for the things I did to my daughter was unspoken of and was wrong. And I mean that from, from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry. Please tell her this for me. Oh, and by the way, tell her as a father that I should have been. Tell her that I really love her and I'm sorry. And I wish I could take it back. I'm gonna go ahead and record all our sessions. So now it's official. Okay. Jennifer, don't worry. Today we're just gonna chat. Okay? If you want, you can leave and pick her up in an hour. Everything will be fine. Okay, can you give us just a minute? Sure. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go, and I will come back and get you. Okay. All right? Okay, Roxy. Okay. Um, can you just stay? I can't. This is something you really need to do on your own. Okay. I know you can do it. It's really, really important. Okay. Okay, look. Trust me. I checked him out. He's got a good reputation. He's here to talk. And listen, you can trust him. Okay, okay? All right. You're gonna have to talk about some things that are a little uncomfortable. Yeah. We haven't talked about for a while, but you know what? Yeah. This is gonna help you, right? Yeah, if you say it will. It will, and you're strong. Okay. okay. I 
like Lola, right? Like Lola. Okay. She'd be really, really proud of you for doing this. Yeah, I miss her. We all do. All right? Give me hug. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. You can do it. All right? I can do it. Listen, I'm gonna be out there in the waiting room, and I will come back and get you in an hour. Okay. Okay? Thank you, Dr. Burke. You're very welcome. In an hour. Uh, yes, in an hour. Okay. So, do you prefer go by Jennifer or Butterfly? Well, um, I mean, all my friends called me Jennifer. I'm sorry, they've called me Butterfly since high school. Um, so I guess that's okay. Butterfly, you're very beautiful. Thanks. I bet you were a beautiful little girl too. Very sweet. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think I look the same, but I see myself every day, so. Right, I, I suppose you do. Yeah. I think you're more comfortable over here. Oh, okay. So, Butterfly, are you an only child? Um, only? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Oh, no. Just me. I see, I see. Um, how often do you see your mother? Um, not often at all. Hmm. And when was the last time you saw your father? <sighs> Would you be more comfortable taking off your shoes? Yeah? I'll sure. Take, I'll take mine off too so we can both be comfortable okay. together. So tell me, how did your father touch you? Did he ever penetrate you? How did he treat you when you were young? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Butterfly, you can relax. You can trust me. How I wonder what you are. What you and Dr. Berman did in there, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, okay? But if you want to talk, I'm here to listen. I just want to go home here, Richard. Are you sure? Come on. Good job. It's okay. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Can you let me buy? I really can't. Okay. Visiting hours over. Well, yeah, I got off work late. I wanted to come by and see how she's doing. I know, and she's doing fine. But you really can't be here right now. Okay. Okay? All right. See you tomorrow? Yeah, I'll see you. Be safe. All right. Words of encouragement always help.
Come in. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, Miss Feinberg. How's that? My favorite. <sighs> My. Miss Feinberg, I am speechless. Baby, can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Hey, fellas, get that stuff together, man. We're opening up. Hey, uh, how are we going, homie? Yeah, we're going back. Hey. What's up, Roxy? How beautiful are you doing? Hey, I'm out of here. You guys have a good shift, OK? See you later. Hey, guys. How's everything going? Okay, how's it going? How's she holding up? How's it looking? Not that great. Is he in? Yeah. Boss, oh, a couple of the girls are here to see you. Roxy and Beautiful. Yes, sir. He's waiting for you. Come on. Hey, have a little faith, huh? Hey, thanks for seeing us today. I heard, I'm sorry. You heard? Why haven't you been there? Somebody's got to run the business. <laughs> Let me guess. Another couch interview or two? Listen, let's put our differences aside. What can I do to help? Well, you can start by listening to Roxy. We have a proposition. Look, for starters, if you can let me take up donations with the other girls for Lola's medical bills. And God forbid funeral arrangements. Of course. Is it that bad? It's looking that way, and it would really help if you gave the first $5,000. Whoa, whoa, five grand? Are you serious? That's just a drop in a bucket to you. Look, Lola's in ICU. She has no insurance, okay? I don't need to break this down for you. You're a businessman, and God forbid she really does die. You can't even bury someone these days for less than twelve dollars to $15,000. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. And you know, if nothing else, I'll make you look good to the other girls and tell them that you gave over $5,000. Over five thousand dollars? You said five grand. I told you this was a bad listen, idea. Listen, you know, listen. When have stop. you ever seen him give anything? Beautiful, stop. Okay, think about Lola. All right? Do you want to help her or not? Okay, just give it a minute. Look, yes, five thousand, and the extras just for the girls that won't have to pay house fees that are donating to the cause. Okay? All right, whatever. At least there'll be good politics around here. <laughs> We know how you like to look good. Well, maybe I'll even take you out to dinner. Ooh. All right, here's your five grand and free house fees for 24 hours. Michael, she's in a coma. Come on, can we at least get a week? Oh, Jesus. All right, five days. You're killing me. I'm trying to run a business. Thank you. Is that so hard? Get her out of here, will you? We're, young, We're going. I appreciate it. Hold it. Yes. Nothing. Never mind. Really, like he didn't have Just the money. We should have to go through all that. At least, you know what, though? At least he gave it. So can you believe that guy? Like, I'd really give that loser the time of day? Yeah, I know. And on top of all that, he tips for shit. Hey, 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 hey. Cut that club talk out. Come here. Thank you. Look, I already told you that we are here for Lola. This could have happened to either one of you. Is that the only reason you brought me here? Hey, yes. Hold on. This girl's in there fighting for her life, OK? We came here to raise some money to help her out with her bills, all right? OK, well, she hasn't done anything for me. Why do you have to be such a bitch? I'm not a bitch. You're a bitch. She hasn't done anything for me. And all she did was sell me drugs. Hey. What the hell did you say? Don't touch me. You need to shut the hell up or get your ass up out of here. Hell, the bottom line, ain't none of our asses perfect. We done all did a little shit. 
What do you want me to do? Look, you guys know some of her customers, so do I. So if we can talk to them, maybe they'll donate a little. All right? And all I'm asking you guys for is for the next week, 10% of what you what? earn. 10%? 10%. No, I already give the club 10%. I got kids. I got a fucked up baby daddy. Hold on, hold on, shit. hold on. Stop. Who cares about your fucked up baby Beautiful. Dad? Stop for a second. Look, I already spoke to the man upstairs, okay? For anybody that donates for Lola this week, no house fees for five days. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You are telling us we don't have to pay house fees? If we donate this money right now. Right, anybody that gives now. Oh, for real? For Thank how long? You. We've got five days. Five days. All right. I mean, we can do that. Who's that money go to? You're gonna give it to Roxy, of course. And why the hell should I trust Your you? Your mouth. Son, why shouldn't you? Look, I'm doing this for Lola because she's my friend. My friend okay? Too. And no, you're not my friend. And no, I don't even really know you. And yeah, I think you can be a total bitch sometimes. But I know that I can too, okay? So if you were dying, or there was a possibility you were dying, or if you were in the hospital and had no insurance, this is where we come together, mm -hmm. okay? We're in this industry together. Thank you. And who's gonna look out for us but us, okay? Well, so, I mean, if we have to give 10% to anybody, you might as well be one of us. That's right. And I'll post something every day in the dressing room that shows our progress and what's been given, all right? And that way, I mean, I know you guys will talk anyway, so it's not like I'm gonna be stealing. But that way you guys can track what we're doing and we can see where we're at. Mm -hmm. All right? Look, I'll start things off. It's about $12,000 in here for my bike. Mm. Alfred tossed them at you. Oh, my DJ. <laughs> yeah, and I have money at home. Thank you. Hey, no. everyone, you okay? Yeah, yeah we'll thanks, Susie. Well, Susie, didn't you hear? Lola's not with us anymore. Oh my God, what happened? Butterfly. Uh, Davina OD'd last week, and we're here trying to raise some money for her. She has no insurance. She's in ICU. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. I actually, I started work this morning at six o'clock. And I have $87 in tips and $50 to my light bill, and you could have it all. Susie, I can't ask you to do that. You have four kids to feed. You know what, honey? I would hope if this happened to one of my kids, you would do the same thing. You know if anything happens to you, I'm there for your kids, no matter yeah. what. Every little bit helps. I appreciate you. You all right, Susie? You're not so bad yourself, big guy. I think you made a new friend. Everywhere I go. Oh, goodness. Roxy, I wanted to give you this. What is this? <laughs> Roxy, and I thought I was ditzy. You're the one who told me to start a savings account. Well, yes, I did. I remember that. Well, so I went to the bank. Uh-huh. And I met this lady. Oh, my gosh, she was so helpful. Mm -hmm. She helped me fill out all this paperwork. She said was really, really important. Mm -hmm. So she gave me that savings account bag. She put the paperwork in there for me. And look, Roxy, look. <laughs> she even wrote down my account number. She wrote it down for me. Uh -huh. So I would just put my money in here and save it all. Aren't you proud of me? OK, OK. Butterfly. I'm very proud of you, mm -hmm. but you know you're actually supposed to put the money into the bank account. Oh, I'm sorry, Roxy. I thought that that's what I was supposed to do was to put it in the bag and, and take. You well, see, I made all the deposits in there, right? You can read it. How much did you save? Well, Tank can add it. He can see. He's how much is it. in there, Tank? It's got to be twenty. What? Are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, I've been Shh, butterfly. No, I've been saving and saving and saving you ever since I started working there. In our neighborhood, your dog would be stuffed, and you end up a skin suit on no. somebody's wall. No, oh, it's Girl, you, you gotta be careful with that. Be, be nice to Richard. Oh, I know. Butterfly, listen. You cannot walk around with this much cash right. in your purse. Someone could steal it. Tell her the bag, no. please. Nobody would steal. I have Richard. Richard protects me. Okay. Yes, I know. Listen. Ferocious. Listen, you're working this weekend, right? Yes. Okay. So Monday morning, you and I are going to go to the bank together. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to show you the proper way to make a deposit. Okay. Okay. Have That's you been going to the bank? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I've been going to the bank all the time. The lady there, like I said, she is so nice. So I like to go give her flowers and then give her milkshakes. She likes milkshakes like me. Oh, she, she loves Richard. Bank. She never so, lifts up your account or anything? I give her, she, we just put it in the bag. She she knows you put it in this bag. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so when we go to the bank, we're gonna have a nice little chit chat with the banker, okay. and you and we'll straighten everything out. You Perfect. Help her. Yeah. And you know what? We'll do it together, yeah. and then you can do exactly what I show you from okay. here on out. Sounds like a plan. Okay, but I have to tell you, I'm really proud of you. I mean, I was trying to make it so we could at least match what Mr. Z gave, maybe double it, and. You doubled it, and you did five times what he gave. Well, like I said, I went to the bank a lot. I guess we did. You're making a night. Don't worry about that. Hey, Harry. Gosh, How you girls doing? Hey, this Harry. has got to be the VIP section right here. <laughs> All on, these buddy? gorgeous girls. And hey, Tank. How you doing, bro? I'm doing great. Man. All right. Hey, listen, Priscilla. Yeah. How you doing? How's things? Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Susie you? told me what happened with Davina. That's my heart. Salt of the earth, this girl, I tell you. I know. It's, it's a terrible thing. What can I do to help? Actually, if you don't mind, if we can post something here, you know a lot of the customers know Lola here. And whatever you or any of the waitresses could give would, would be really helpful. Oh, it's my pleasure. Let me think for a second. You know what I'm going to do for you? Hmm. I'm going to empty the register into an envelope the whole day's take, and I'm going to give it. How's that Harry, sound? you oh are gosh, the best. It's so nice. Thank you. Hey, you Thank don't have you. to say anything. Don't say a damn thing, because uh, that's my girl. She's my heart. I really she, appreciate it. Is she going to make it? Lot. Yeah. Is she going to make it or what? She's not doing great. They really don't know. But if we have anything to do with it, she'll be fine. She's the strongest person I know. She's going to do great. Yeah. yeah, I know she will. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Harry. Well, hey, since you're in such a uh, fortuitous mood, maybe you could cover the meal. Hey, he hey, just hey, gave hey. us the whole register. Ask and you shall receive. Mm. Ask what they say. Thank you God. shall receive. It's on me. Okay. Oh, that's thank my you. guy right there. Thank you. Thank you. In that hey. case, can I get some dessert? Okay. Frank. Dessert too. <laughs> hey, Frank. <laughs> okay. Hey, Frank. I just don't want to forget it. Hi. Why are you still doing that? Okay. So it's new. It's a Hey, Tank. Wow. Hey, Jay. Hey, baby. Hey, Roxy. How you holding up? I'm doing all right. Wait, I'm going to let you guys get to it. Thanks, Tank. Hey. Hey, how's it going? How's she doing? She's hanging in there. Have you even gotten to see her yet? In the hospital. Everything okay with that? We've raised some money, but not nearly enough. Uh, how much have we raised so far? Like $37,000, including what your dad gave. Come with me. Are you going to even answer my question? Roxy, stop being a pain in the ass. It's been my office. You know, I've been working here a long time. So let's just keep this between you and me. All right. What's this? You raised 37,000? Mm -hmm. I'm matching it. Wow, that's a lot of money. Aren't you gonna get in trouble with daddy? Jesus Christ, Roxy. You always gotta be such a bitch. Yeah, I do. Well, I guess you do if you always gotta put up my old man. Actually, he's been pretty harmless so far. Well, I guess you possess a quality the rest of us don't got. Anyway, that's my money there. Why are you doing this? Okay, guess I missed that one. Uh, you missed a lot when he's out there collecting your money. Something I need to know? three years ago when she walked through those doors for the first time. My dad wasn't here back then. I hired her, but not the way he hires people, you know. 
She was a waitress back then. <laughs> she wanted to work her way through school. We got along real good, you know. Just first, uh, first time we went on a date, we just went out for coffee. It was real. Everything went perfect after that, you know? I mean, we partied a little bit. Everybody did, but little coke, nothing serious. No. Eventually, we, we really fell in love. Hold on a second. I thought you married your high school sweetheart. I did. Then I fell in love with Lola. One thing led to another, and she, she got herself pregnant. She's a good girl, too, you know? She's, all she wanted to do was go to school, become a nurse, help people. So you see, I feel like this whole thing is pretty much just my own fault. Why didn't you just leave your wife? It wasn't that simple. You see, my wife was eight months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Lola was one month pregnant. I asked her to get an abortion. I even tried to pay her to do it. Told her I'd leave my wife. You had no intention of leaving her, though, did you? Oh, I did. But once my wife gave birth, and I held that little life that we created in my hands, I, just, I guess I just had to forget all about Lola. You know, in the end, she loved me too. She didn't want to ruin my life or anything like that. So she went ahead and got the abortion. She did that for me. It was all downhill after that, you know. First she, it was just the weed, and she started hitting the bottle really hard, and then she moved on to the hard shit. So you see, this is pretty much all my fault. Don't look at me so bad, huh? It's a pretty fucked up business, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe if we treated it more like it was a business, and less like our own personal playground, it wouldn't be so fucked up. You know what my father does, don't you? Of course, he runs a chain of strip clubs. Amongst other things, let's put it this way. We're Italian. What I told you never leaves this office. And you ain't gonna tell nobody about that money. We clear? We're clear. Okay. From now on, I wanna help out. Anything you need, you bring me the bills. Well, right now the bill's hovering right around $100,000. Well, I don't have that kind of money just laying around. It's gonna take me at least a month to come up with the rest. All right. I think this will keep the hospital happy at least for now. Good. Roxy. Yeah. Thanks. My dad was right about you. I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. Uh, he said he was a good bitch. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure if I should take that as a compliment. Thanks. Excuse me, Mrs. Villalobos? Um, no, actually now I go by my maiden name, Miller. Uh, you must be Priscilla. Yes. And, and your friend. This is beautiful. Nice to meet you, beautiful. Hello. And um, so, so you called me. What can I do to help you? You know, your daughter's in the hospital fighting for her life. Why haven't you gone to see her? <sighs> do you have kids? No. You? Look, this isn't about beautiful. This isn't about me. This is about Davina. No, 
This is about abandonment, and I know all about that. I never abandoned my kids. Well, it seems that way to me. Where the hell you been? Well, I see. Um, when you have kids, sometimes things don't work out like you think. Um, you actually, my life was terrible for many years. Okay, who wasn't? I was addicted to heroin, and and uh, I couldn't see my way out. And my kids were little, and they saw it all. They saw everything, and then. Each handled it in a different way. One turned to books and school, and the other one kind of followed in my footsteps. So that gives you a reason to not be by your daughter's side? Don't you understand? No, no I don't. My kids don't want anything to do with me. She needs you. That girl needs you more than ever right now. You need to show up. Look, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but we didn't come here today to hear sob stories or, or excuses, okay? Your, your daughter's fighting for her life, and she needs all the support she can get, okay? There's the information for the hospital. Do what you want. I, I just don't know. You don't know what. Explain what. What, what don't you know? I had a dad to do the same exact thing you did. He walked out on me 25 years ago and I still haven't seen him. Where the hell you been? Look, life is all about choices and we have to live by the decisions we make. Let's go, beautiful. Get the hell out of here. Yes, hello. I, I'd like to have an arrangement sent to a patient there. Yes, as a matter of fact, to my daughter, Davina Villalobos. And I'd like a colorful arrangement. Can, can you write a note? Yes, please. Can you put Davina? Please forgive me. Love, Mom. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Feinberg? Yes. This is Dr. Schwartz. Hello, doctor. Is Lola okay? Oh, yes, yes, she's fine. Uh, I wanted to let you know I spoke with the board today. You and I are going to need to get together tonight, though. There are a few issues we need to address. When? How does 9.30 tonight sound? And what would you like me to wear, doctor? Surprise me. You are quite creative. <sighs> you have no idea how creative I can be. See you tonight. So Priscilla, what seems to be the problem today? You look a little, little down, a little you know, out of it. I shouldn't have even come here today. No, uh, no, no, let's talk to me. My friend, she's in the hospital. 
I really should be there with her. Um, let's backtrack. Explain that. What? Which friend? My friend Lola. Um, she stays in my guest room, and mm -hmm. I found her in the tub. She had. Uh, she's a drug addict, and, and she had OD'd, and she's in the hospital, and. Uh, I'm, I'm, I should really be there with her. Look, you, you didn't, you know, drive all the way up here just to storm out all abruptly. You know, tell me what's on your mind. What's going on? It's just oh, this doctor. She doesn't have insurance, and uh, her her hospital bills are like over a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Bottom line is, I, I fucked the doctor to pay the bill. He's, he's the chairman of the board. He, he said he would make it go away. And now he's trying to, he's trying to like go back on it and tell me it's not gonna happen to make me like his sex slave or something. Okay, um, let's, let me, let me uh, try and understand this real quick. Um, so you had sex with the doctor. Um, thinking that he was gonna uh, dismiss all of your friends' hospital bills? Not just thinking that, we had a deal. Okay. He said that he would take care of it? He said he would make it go away. He was gonna get a grant from the board. And okay. then he called me to tell me that he, that he didn't do it. And okay. that I have to go see him again. I'm, I'm not gonna be this guy's sex slave. Nobody does that to me. Okay. Um, so what, what do you, what do you think's gonna happen? What, what's your plan? What are you going to do? Well, I learned from the best. Uh, I don't, I don't think I understand. You know that little recording device you have? Mm hmm Well, I have one too, and I brought it when I had sex with the doctor. He's married. Mm -hmm. He sits on the board. We were in his office. Um, if I'm understanding this right, uh, it kind of sounds like extortion or blackmail. Well, what does it sound like he's doing to me? <sighs> you got a good point. Um, I just don't, I don't understand why, why you're telling me. <sighs> you're my psychiatrist. I mean, nothing goes beyond these walls, right? Right, but... You drove all this way up here? What do, you, what do you want an approval from me? Yeah. No, um, no, it's, I understand you're in a, in a really messed up situation, but I, I, I don't approve about what you're doing. I don't approve of anything. Um, I'm not having sex with him again. I mean, he wasn't even that good the first time. <laughs> Well, that's a relief. Um, regardless, I, 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 I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the situation. But look, I don't know what you think of me, and whether you believe it or not. The sessions with you have been helping. I'm trying to help my friend. That's the only reason I did this. And this guy's trying to break our deal. I'm not going to let it happen. Okay. Nobody controls me like that unless I let them. Um, I don't approve, but if I were in your shoes, I would say that uh, you had a pretty good plan. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Dr. Berman. How Please are you? Come in. Great. Nice to see you again. How are you? You're doing so well. Oh, I'm doing so good, thank you. I have a special surprise for you today. Oh my gosh, what is it? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise now if I told you. We're gonna take our therapy to the next level. Okay, well what is it? This is my special surprise. This is for you. Thank you so much, I love surprises, Dr. Berman. Thank you so much. Do you like it? Oh, um, well, my dad had one of these. Did he? 
But so. it it didn't it didn't work very well though. Well, you're you're used to this then. Uh, it didn't work very well. He ended up eating a ha. There you go. Oh, this one's a little advanced. Let's say for yourself. Oh does, oh. does this hurt? Uh uh. Good. Just take nice deep breaths. Feel okay? Uh huh. Why don't you stand up for me? Oh okay. Just like that. Perfect. I want to have you uh, just go ahead and bend over here on the desk. Uh-huh. And just relax. Oh, do you want to take these off for me? Oh, hey. Great. <sighs> just give those to me. <clears throat> okay, bend over. Just like that. Perfect. Just like that. Can't you just stay? I can't. This is something you really need to do on your own. 